Welcome to Shooting It Straight with Stan. I'm your host, Stan, the annuity man, America's annuity agent, licensed in all 50 states. Today's topic is from a friend of mine, Michael Finka, smart guy in the room, the Mount Rushmore of smart guys. His face is on that uh, Mount Rushmore, a Mount Annuity More. Michael Finka, F-I-N-K-E, he's been on the podcast with me before, Fun with Annuities podcast, but he is a intellect he is a person that when he speaks in the annuity industry, as the old Payne Weber ad said, people listen. But I had him on a podcast a long time ago, and he said something I wrote down, and I wanted to kind of hammer on this a little bit more. It's called automate your income. And he's a big believer that. Now, he, Michael is not an, an annuity homer. You know, I'm not an annuity homer. I'll tell you if somebody doesn't need an annuity, if you don't need an annuity, if you put too much money in an annuity, if the annuity you're buying is the wrong one, I'll tell you that or the right one. I'll tell you that too. But he's a big believer in automating your income. And the more I thought about that, and the more poignant of a point that was, high five to Michael, wherever he is, smart guy, fun guy. He'd be the guy like, if I still drink beer, I'd. that's the guy you want to have a beer with. Because he's just fun. He's glass half full. He's always got a smile on his face. He's just happy. I like that. Someone in the annuity industry that's happy, that's unique. And he has a reason to be because he understands the value and the transfer of risk nature of it. Automating your income is, in essence, creating your own pension, which is what annuities do, which is what annuities are put on the planet to do. Back in the Roman times, when the, the empire created annuities, okay, or annuas, payments, A-N-N-U-A-S, pull it up, for the dutiful Roman soldiers and their families for laying on all the line for the empire, it was a lifetime income stream. And that's where the word annuity comes from and been sold in this country, regardless of the pundits that have no clue what they're talking about for hundreds and hundreds of years, their pensions. And the reason that that's important now is because in this world that we live in, in the United States of America, less than 9% of private companies offer pensions, period. They, even don't, they don't even give you the gold watch. They don't do either. If you work for the government or the state, then you might have a pension. If you work for a, a good labor union, you might have a pension. But most people don't have pensions. 91% plus do not have a pension, yet they own the best inflation annuity on the planet, social security. So when Michael talks about automating your income, what he is talking about is creating more income floor to, to add to that lifetime income stream you're getting with social security that increases with inflation. And the reason I keep saying that is because no commercial annuity really does a good job with inflation increases, regardless of what you heard at the bad chicken dinner, expensive steak dinner seminar. They're full of crap. The reason that I say Social Security is the best inflation annuity on the planet is because politicians just raise it. They don't look at actuarial tables. They just raise it. And go, We're going to pay them more. Yep, let's just pay them more. Let's just print more money. Let's pay them more. Okay, great. But that's the reason I say that. But when you go to chapter two of your life, which is where we all want to be, right? You want income. You want that income floor, what I talk about, you know, the, your expenses and, and mad money and everything. What's going to hit the bank account every single month, regardless of who's in office, what you know, political parties in power, who's bombing who, whatever. It doesn't matter. It's, it's the income floor. So you need to automate that. Now, when we talk about automating your income, that makes people's stomach hurt. Some of you out there that are masters of the universe that want to trade stocks and all that stuff. And if that's who you are and you like, you know, shouldering that risk and you're good at it, please do that. But I would encourage even those of you that consider yourself the Gordon Geckos of the world to consider putting that lifetime income stream in place and automating your income, especially for that spouse that's put up with your rear end for all this long, this time. And you know what I'm talking about, you know, put it in place for them. So when you don't, when you, you can't trade anymore, you lose cognitive function, you fall in the shower and hit your head on the soap dispenser. Ouch. Um, that happens, I think too much. Uh, then, and you don't have the ability to trade, then that income floor is in place. Now, that drives people like you crazy that are market people and that don't want to, you know, tie up your money. And the best lifetime income products, which are immediate annuities, deferred income annuities, qualified longevity annuity contracts, you can throw on top of that income riders attached to deferred annuities like index or variable. You can also throw on top of that from an income standpoint, peeling off the interest of a MIGA. 
But a lot of you don't want to type your money with, with SPIAs, DIAs, and QLEX. So that's, that's irrevocable. You're ripping the knob off the water faucet. This, in this case, water is income, but think of that just visually. You're ripping it off, knob off the water faucet. It's common. You're getting that lifetime income stream. Now, the problem with that for a lot of you is the fear of missing out, you know, the, the, the loss of opportunity. You didn't buy that Tesla and you didn't get the 10 the bagger stock and all that crap. That's fine. But I mean, you need to come to a point where a portion of your portfolio is automated income in combination with social security, in combination with a pension, if you're so fortunate to have one, and in combination with your required minimum distributions, yes, your RMDs from your IRA at the time of this taping to age 73, that the life insurance, that I mean, excuse me, the, the, the tax guy, the IRS taps you on the shoulder and go, oh, by the way, whether you need the money or not, you need to start taking it out. To me, that's a forced annuity. And all you curmudgeons out there can argue with me all you want. Well, well when I'm done, runs out. You know what I'm talking about. It's, it's an income stream that's coming from your IRA assets, whether you want it to happen or not. That's automating your income. So in essence, you already have two. If you have an IRA, you have a 401k, IRA, whatever, 43B, 457, something that's been deferring taxes, that when you turn age 73, whatever the RMD age is at the time you're watching this, it could be it could be higher. I think they're pushing it for, for it to be higher. And the IRS taps you on the shoulder. That's automated income. That's going to combine with your social security for automated income. That's going to combine, that's going to combine with if you have a pension, that's automated income. And arguably it could combine with dividend paying stocks, like legacy stocks that you're never going to sell and they pay dividends. That's automated income. I mean, it's coming in. And there's nothing wrong with that. And I think to do it in proportion makes the most sense. When Michael and I were talking about that, I always say to people, and I told him this. Of course, he applauded me, stood up and clapped. And I said, please sit down, Michael. You don't have to do that. He didn't, but he wanted to. I always tell people, use the least amount of money possible to solve for the income goal, period. Now, on my site, you can do what's called a reverse engineer quote. You can say, you know what, Stan? I need $1,757 a month, period, starting in a year, or starting in two years, or starting now, or starting in five years. And you can run that reverse engineer quote, solving for that amount, and know exactly to the penny what it would take to create that contractual guarantee. In other words, use as little amount of money as possible to solve for that contractual goal. That's a very interesting way to do it. Now, for all of you masters of the universe, well, Stan, what about inflation? Stan, you're in inflation, 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 inflation. I just keep hearing it. Any agent or advisor that says they have the annuity that combats inflation are full of crap. They, they smell like it. They're full of crap. They don't have it. Annuity companies don't give away inflation increases. You can buy it contractually with a COLA cost of living adjustment and choose your, your percentage of, of return. But the annuity company just simply lowers that initial payment to make up for that increase. Same thing with index annuities or variable annuities, whatever the pitch is. Well, the return the return will increase your, your income stream. Annuity companies don't give that away, player. They're just going to severely lower that initial payment to make up for that, that increase. So if you're automating your income and you're thinking, well, I've got to combat inflation with that, don't. Please don't. And the way to combat, combat inflation using annuities is if you're going to figure out what that income gap is going to be. Let's just say your income floor is 5000 a month. And three years from now, it's now you need $5,250 a month. Then let's do a reverse engineer quote at that time for $250 to solve for that income gap need. You can't, there's no floating product that addresses inflation, even though a lot of agents will tell you they have it. They do not have it. You can't be that stupid. It doesn't exist. Automating your income means that you're going to know exactly to the penny what's going to hit your bank account every single month. Uh, the only inflation increase you can bank on is the one from Social Security, which, again, is the best inflation annuity on the planet. So what I would encourage you to do is go to my site at theannuityman.com. We have the best calculators in the world. You can run DSP, a QLAC, income writers quotes to your delight. I have owner's manuals that you can uh, download and get and read and all that stuff on each one of those specific strategies. And you can really get up to speed with not only the owner's manuals, but specific, specific videos I've done on those strategies as well. But the point of the matter is, as you go into chapter two of your life, as you go from re, you know retirement into chapter two about lifestyle and, and you know living to the fullest, 
you need to automate your income in combination with Social Security, in combination with your RMDs, in combination with the pension, if you're so fortunate to have one. Automate your income so you don't have to worry about that monthly income amount that you need, and you can just go live your life. And if you want to trade the rest of the money in, in futures and option spreads and butterfly spreads and condor spreads, do it. Knock yourself out, but make sure that that income floor is not only in place for you, but your family members as well, spouse, et cetera. And that way, when they go to your funeral, they'll actually sing nice songs about you, not some dark hymn. It'll be like, oh, he was great. He was really great. He was wonderful. That's what you want. You don't want them singing some dark, deep hymn from the 1500s at your funeral. Think about that. You don't want that. Hey, that's Shooting It Straight with Stan. I'm Stan the Annuity Man. See you next time.